this is uh, other thing that I worked on. The phase shape or like this shape that we have here is a little bit similar to the way that we created today, like with the with the circles. So mm -hmm. this one, instead of the circles, it's uh, with one curve with like points, which is this curve, these points. And then I did a revolve, like a revolution. So, so it, this curve has always been like revolved 360 to create okay. this shape. Uh, after this, the point after this, there is, uh, I can even bring this here uh, to expect the population, uh, popular ge geometry. So this component creates a random uh, set of points on top of the surface. So instead of dividing them as a grid or so, I just created a random set of, of points and you can control the number of points and uh, how much <clears throat> the randomness to be. Then uh, there is this, this component here, it's called Voronoi. So Voronoi actually it's like a mathematical concept that if you have, it's resembles the, the behavior of um, so of the bubbles of the soap, like you know, the the soap will go bigger as much as the next one allow it somehow. So this kind of thing is a mathematical concept. It's called Voronoi. Now I'm mm -hmm. doing a two D Voronoi, but if you do the three D that is generated with these points, it will create such uh, a shape. Now I'm cutting the vase. Um, I'm taking the intersection between this uh, surface and these uh, geometries, and I'm left with this kind of shape. After this, uh, with other mathematical things, I'm defining here like how much percent again, like how much percent of, of this how much percent of this vase will stay as uh, as this shape and how much of it will stay solid. So uh, if I can make it like 60%, 70%, how much hmm. uh, I want, I am creating the, the other part that is not left with these ones. So hmm. it's kind of, I'm taking one part of it as cells, one part of it as solid, and combining them as a thing. After this, uh, I'm using uh, another plugin that is the Dendro. Yeah, something similar to uh, WeaveBird. Uh, does like a little bit different uh, work, but then I'm converting these points and these like uh, all of this shape that I created up converting it into mesh. And you can control actually the uh, parameters of this mesh from here. Like there is this called settings. So this uh, the mesh settings, like how much is like the smoothness and degrees and so. And again, from the down part, I'm also like giving it a, a thickness like this. Then creating a union to make this last shape a little bit with smoothness because if you leave it like this, it's like all these sharp edges, but with smoothness, yeah, okay. like this. and again with WeaveBird uh, subdivision and smooth, smoothing a bit more, it gives me the uh, final uh, object, which is, yeah, this one. Everything now you have it as. Uh, parameters and controlled by numbers so you can mm -hmm. go like the width and the height yeah it's uh, much more controllable yeah and how much division or how much uh, void do you want 50 percent or 60 or yeah this is a bit uh, complex one it's a little bit more rough these uh, divisions here there's like mm -hmm. not 100 percent smooth but it's a good result. I think like for clay, it would be perfect.